off. No, get I've been, I've tried to ask you nicely, dude. I you said I'll, I'll keep it in. Hello, hello, everyone. Remember, this video is made for educational oh. purposes and contains significant original text commentary. So, oh. let's get it on. If you find our video interesting, please comment number one. If not, no. please comment number two. It was at this moment he knew. <laughs> What happens when a driver drives fast and makes sharp turns? Do you own this land? Let's roll. I don't want any what? trouble with you. What? I'm just trying to talk to you. I've been. I've tried to ask you nicely, dude. I you said I'll, I'll keep it in second gear. All the riding places. This is where you want to run that little bitch ass track. Yeah, it's cool. Those little cars for my kids, my grandkids. How am I supposed to know that? Ride somewhere else. How am I supposed to know that? Yeah, we were right there. You could have said that. Listen, you were right there. You could have said that. If you know something, you don't sit right, but if you're out to the dust and the wind blowing this way, common sense. You make it more dust than all of us put together. Man, I'm out of here. Don't move to the desert if you don't want the desert. Let's go. Watch what happens with this <coughs> road rage in the city. <gasps> I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Oh, shit. Come on. Put your camera Now what? You're threatening yeah, behavior. Yeah. That's threatening behavior. Yeah. Whatever. We'll make sure I get your registration. Yeah, get, get my This is disabled. <laughs> I wonder which direction they were looking at while driving. What's up? What's up, man? What, what's up, bro? Hey, yo, Jeff. What is it? What? What, you flipping me off? What, you oh, think no, you're cool or what, man? I wasn't, huh? I wasn't flipping you off. No, get the f*** on. I wasn't huh? flipping you off. UK road rage, man angry over lane giving incident. But karma will come if you use your car in the middle of the road like that. Driving then. No, driving, but you just nearly took me out. I was doing 40. Huh? Yeah, doing 40. <coughs> and, me. Sh pull over, pull over. I'll show you the footage. No. 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 I'll show you the footage. Bruh. No. No, yeah. You, no, mate. You need to calm down. No, because you just pulled out on me and nearly huh? me off, you twat. No, you oh my god, you were so no. stupid. And you should have
In Michigan, in such weather conditions, drivers should drive slowly and turn on the wipers continuously to ensure your car windows are clean and you can see the road clearly. Thank you everyone for helping us reach 30k subscriptions. If you haven't participated yet, quickly register to reach 40k together. Your support is a valuable motivation for us. Oh, fucking hell, man, the lorry's just hit a car. Aww. Have you encountered this situation before? <laughs> it's okay, calm down. You have a dash cam and karma is waiting for him. <laughs> It's sad that people react this way today. If people react like this to get gas, <laughs> be prepared for the YouTubers who'll probably have a way to make you regret behaving like that. Friday and Saturday, 3, August 13th and 14th. Yo! Holy Oh no, never randomly want to test the limits of the car's accelerator pedal. I think you should learn how to control the car before driving it on the road. Bicycles cross in front of the roundabout. As a result, they had a rampage. When encountering such things, if you can't stop them, the best way is to report them to the police. Do you think this driver should be retaught how to drive? Yeah. 
bet you don't want to hear this sound in your car, so huh, pay attention to safety it turns. Carded. In the 13700 block of West Oscar Street, a family's one-story house had a problem. Possibly due to an electrical short circuit, there were many flammable objects around the house, so the firefighters encountered many difficulties. Miraculously, there were no casualties in this incident. This is a warning lesson that you should regularly check electrical appliances in your home and turn them off if not in use. The new female driver fortunately collided with the truck bed while backing up. The incident is not only an obstacle on the road, but also a valuable lesson to become a better driver and be more careful on the road. This is the Dana Point Harbor, California cruise ship. People at the scene said no one was injured. The cause may be because the crew is repairing the ship. You see, when doing any work, you must do it carefully and safely. Come on, mate. He looked confused, but that helps him be more cautious and, more importantly, know how to face unfortunate situations calmly. Although the incident scared the girls, it was also a lesson about being more careful with jokes and how to handle unwanted situations. The technician accidentally knocked over the fuel tank. Fortunately, the fuel tank didn't cause any damage. They should be more careful when repairing cars. A worker working on a truck had a problem with this forklift. Fortunately, he wasn't injured. Caution when working around industrial equipment is important for them to pay attention to. On the busy street of Broadway, the cause may be due to the excessive weight when towing the sports car. But thanks to his intelligence and timeliness, the driver escaped danger and called for help. This guy is a typical example of incidents that occur when repairing electrical equipment without expertise. At this point, he'll have to turn off the power and call a professional to help. On Interstate 185 in Greenville, rescuers arrived quickly and fortunately the driver was able to escape the car in time. You should check and take your car for regular maintenance, guys. Repairman left his computer plugged in overnight on his workbench. Luckily, there were no casualties, so turn off the power and check carefully before leaving the workplace, especially if there are electronic devices left plugged in overnight. This caused people here to lose power for quite a long time. 
Performing regular pruning can prevent unnecessary incidents and ensure a suitable power supply for the community. The black smoke from the car at the gas station served as a sudden warning. This is a wake-up call about importance of safety when handling fuel, but also a valuable lesson about preparedness in emergency situations. Have you prepared Christmas gifts for your family? Yeah. So, you were so bothered by, um, by something, uh, particularly the way... There's no legal basis for any of these things. First, prepare some winter tires for your vehicle. Second is some clothes. We have some ads for t-shirts, so take a look if you see anything that might be suitable for your family member. Here's why you don't just depend on your GPS. I feel like this is his first and last day driving these trucks. Although fortunately no one was injured in this case, this is an important lesson that requires careful planning, equipment inspection, and always following safety regulations when using cranes. Oh my god! Oh my god! The car repair shop nearby will probably be very crowded today because of rubber stoppers. Yes it did! Live! Live! Oh my god! Oh. Slow down and pay more attention to safety when traveling. The miraculous thing is that no one was injured. Being careful and controlling weight is a decisive factor, especially when the job requires absolute precision and safety. Yeah, no, good deal. Make sure it's firm enough and that there are no signs of slipping or sinking so that your work isn't affected or delayed. She is Please. being so rude to this young man. He is nothing but nice, and you have no right to be mean to him. Yeah. There, yeah. There, there's no yeah. reason for you to be angry. No, I'm not giving it to him. It's mine. I'm not giving it to him. I didn't know Karen could have this right. Well, now she regrets saying that because it was all caught on camera. Please, someone pray for his dog that died. Excuse me, this is not okay. Dog. You cannot no, be talking No, look like at it. this. This is a mess. He can't okay. even I'm sit I'm so there. sorry look about this, sir. Right. If I could just have you go this All way. Right. Okay. You okay. are in my way. It's my seat. I paid for it. All right, everybody. I I'm paid so, for stop, this Stop, stop. You are I going paid. to be apprehended You're if you continue this seat. Please sit in the correct seat according to the seat number printed on the ticket you purchased. Yes, I am so sorry. Security is on the way, all right? You, you are. Think. Go. Man, me I, over yeah. this guy? Yeah, 100%. Yes. 100%. Bye-bye. No, you've disrupted everybody yeah. in this place. Keep walking. Right there. Keep walking oh, right there. Goodbye. Keep walking. She's a representative of the aircraft. They don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? So you're going to have to get that's off the aircraft. They made us way and way and way. Yeah, that's and that's you. fine, and I will respect that. Okay. I know what I live in America, and that's what right. America's about. Calm down. No, you know Listen that. Grab no, your bag. you know that. It's almost Christmas. Many people go home. Hopefully you won't meet this Karen on your flight. Hey, get off the plane. Come on. Shielding. Get off the plane. Can I trust you to not? So you as a cop should have to honor that. Trust, right? Trust. right? right? No, like you should though. You should have to honor that. That's my right. Go talk to the cop and tell him. No, get we're getting to the point where you're not expecting. You're not. Doing your job. Nobody Listen, wants we're not, We don't want to arrest you. Come so on. arrest me. No, I don't give a fuck. Arrest me, you know why? Because I got my right! Come on, get off the train. A drunk woman was escorted out of the Tampa airport after being denied boarding on a planned flight due to her intoxication. Oh, let's go. That's, that's, not, the way right. that's not the way it works. That's not the way it works. Let's go. We need a female officer hey, here. No, listen, you you're trespassing. Leave, or, oh, you're going, trespass you're going Leave or you're getting arrested. Leave or you're getting arrested. I didn't do nothing wrong. Yes, you did. 
This Karen girl was over her limit. She shouldn't have drunk before flying. A woman paid the price for being anti-mask at a Galveston bank. Awesome. Well, you need to go and get a mask and then take your money out. You're not allowed to do the easy way or the hard way. What are you going to do, arrest me? Yes, for intruding on premises. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. During an epidemic situation, you should follow safety regulations to protect yourself and those around you. It's not a public place. I'm this is a private line. business. No, you're business. not. Oh, let's go outside. No, he's, he's let's go outside. Shoot me, people. He's no. going to shoot me for trying not to breathe. Dude. Cool. Don't. Re oh, don't do that. Oh, no. Do not touch me. Everything will be simpler if you know how to stay calm. And eventually they're invited out by security and of course do not bring any goods. Karen brought out the goods. I think it was alcohol. The scan price is two dollars higher than the listed price. The manager could have chosen to explain gently, but he didn't, and the store ended up losing a customer. Hey, you get off! No, you get off! Welcome back to Mad Things. In Madison, Florida, the driver was on his way to deliver the vehicle to the dealership. The cause of this problem is currently under investigation, but I think it may be due to a leak in the fuel tank. Although no one was injured, the driver will certainly not avoid having to pay a huge amount of compensation. And to avoid such situations, check your beloved car regularly. A girl was cooking and preparing for a family party when she suddenly smelled smoke and discovered it in time. Luckily, they arrived safely. To prevent such incidents from happening, every family should be equipped with fire protection equipment or emergency alarm equipment. At Potter High and Bridge, a minor incident occurred with this yacht. Yep. The yacht's driver was alert and skillful, promptly taking control of the ship to avoid a dangerous collision. But from that experience, he learned an important lesson about caution and careful preparation when operating a boat on the water. Alarm sounded as fire ravaged the 60 MW power plant. Chaos spread. People's lives were turned upside down, with damage not only to property, but also to security and basic amenities. This incident sent a clear message about the need to maintain and improve the power generation system. Are you prepared for Christmas? <laughs> we have some t-shirt ads, so take a look if you see anything that might be suitable for your family member. The major incident occurred when a faucet had burned out in the hotel's equipment, causing water to spill onto the floor. This creates chaos and difficulty for cleaning staff. In Brielle, New Jersey, a man was driving a pickup truck on his way to work when suddenly his vehicle had trouble. Luckily, he opened the door and escaped safely. At a warehouse in Chicago's west side, more than 100 firefighters participated.
Fire officials said no workers were working at the warehouse that time. <laughs> what a lucky day for the workers. This is the bridge at Potterheim on the Norfolk Broads. A wise choice. He must always turn around and be ready to adapt. <laughs> what do you think? Tuesday afternoon in Prince George's County wasn't a peaceful noon as they expected. The driver said he had mechanical problems with the turbocharger on his 18-wheeler when the tractor unit failed. Emergency preparedness is key to preventing incidents and ensuring driving safely. Waste classification is important. Here's a typical example of failure to separate them on Montrose Avenue. Good. I'm like a high yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to explode one more time. It's going to explode any minute. La Crescenta had an incident. Fortunately, the driver was able to leave the car in time. The boat owner lost a large amount of money just because he was afraid of losing several thousand dollars to maintain and repair this boat. The lucky thing here is that the driver is safe. The money spent to repair the car is also considered to pay for this expensive lesson. A pickup truck caused a serious traffic jam along Highway 84 in Lubbock County, Texas. Maybe this is a bad day for them. They should control the speed when driving on roads with poor conditions. Sometimes speed can cause big problems. So adjust your speed by using the brake and throttle gently and flexibly to avoid sudden movements. The driver drove the truck within New Jersey city limits. Fortunately, he overcame this incident and caused the whole city to open a large-scale investigation into the safety of the terrain here. A Mexican helicopter makes an emergency landing in Hidalgo State. Perhaps all their luck is focused on this incident. That's why you always check the equipment before using it. This Karen woman believes she had the right to make unreasonable demands, refuse to comply with store policies, and seek special treatment. Yeah, you're talking amongst us. No, I'm so talking to her. Talking to Who the f is you? Who are you? Call the police, like you said you was gonna do. There's a security guard right here. So what? Well, you Does her bodyguard? Who I am? Is you her bodyguard? Does it matter? And what are you going to right shut the f up? No. And I'm not even. Let's keep talking, bitch. And look at your dirty ass. You got holes in your shoes. Hey, you're damn straight. I think she needs help to stop her paranoia. Look at your face. Look at your face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your bitch ass yeah. In Broward County, a woman announced she wouldn't pay baggage fees and forced a person of color to carry her bag. Ah, uh -uh, you're yelling that shit here. Ah, uh ah. -uh. No, go. No, you're. Yeah, you're gonna go. 
I no, have my you're gonna take your big ass cancer. Get that three pound suitcase. Excuse you, that's your. Sh Go get it. Get downstairs, lady. Get downstairs. I can't no. Carry it. No, get your. No. Sh uh, 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 uh. Excuse you. Me. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Get your hands You're gonna get arrested. That's what. Excuse you. No. Stop yourself. You need to relax. You need to relax. Get your hands off me. Well, I hope in the future our police officers will teach this Karen girl to stop discriminating. Patriots fans angered a Texas fan during the game in Houston after she spilled a baked potato on his girlfriend. This is going hell! I'm about to get thrown out! Oh, here comes the keys! Everything will be very simple if they know how to control their emotions and just be a civilized fan. At Lowry's The Prime Rib Beverly Hills, a family is disturbing the peace at a fancy restaurant. They, uh, they were invited to move to another restaurant. I think it's a beautiful ending so they can satisfy their hungry stomachs. I'm proud of this man for defending this black couple against his racist wife. Mm, maybe she's done it before and hopes this is the last time. Get your stupid ass in the car. Get in the car, Aaron. You are not special. Get your stupid ass in the No, he is not. What? Because he's driving a fing you and Hey. Hey, I'm sorry, y'all. No, she can't handle a goddamn thing, man. Aaron, get in the car! A guy accidentally turned the camera to record the scene of a 2,500 kilogram hard concrete block falling from a crane onto a bus on the ground. That incident reminded everyone of the importance of safety and vigilance when working around heavy equipment. The tractor trailer driver misjudged the height as he approached the bridge. He decided to try to cross, but unfortunately the container was violently deformed under the pressure of the bridge. He learned a valuable lesson about the importance of paying attention when participating in traffic. The incident happened when he used a stick to repair power lines. The important lesson is the use of specialized tools and compliance with safety rules. On the way home with his beloved big bike, he learned that the bike had a fuel leak and the hot engine caused the bike to catch fire. Luckily, he wore protective gear when riding and was careful. I also liked the calmness with which he and his friends handled the situation. Of course, he'll have to push the bike for repair and if you have a motorbike, always pay attention to the heat of the engine when moving to know how to handle it promptly. Despite its efforts, the forklift was unable to prevent the collapse of the large grain bin. That scene is a clear warning of the need for careful preparation. During a construction project, workers caused the boss to lose a large amount of cement. Therefore, before pouring concrete, it's necessary to carefully check the project to avoid unnecessary errors. In downtown Portland, we have the parking lot nightmare. We can see how bad things can be just because some employee poured gasoline into the generator while the machine was still running. It's important to be aware of safety when working with flammable substances such as gasoline. This is how millions of dollars of big boats in San Diego, California can go up in flames. Anyway, drones are awesome, right? Mm, beautiful footage and camera quality. Luckily, everything's fine. After this, you need to pay attention and be careful when working, my dear friend. Subscribe to the channel for this guy's luck.
This incident is a profound warning about promoting safety when traveling and being careful when participating in traffic, right? Using too much electricity can cause the wires to short circuit. Hopefully the electrician will quickly fix it so people's lives can be stabilized. When watching this video, we hope you'll be calmer and always keep a safe distance when driving. After two days of removing a damaged 100-year-old oak tree on the Anderson University campus, a struggle broke out between a large log and a 70-ton crane. Luckily, no one was injured in this duel. For the shipping industry, this is a serious and also a valuable lesson. Before setting sail, you should carefully check the ship's equipment. Looking at that driver, he seemed to regret why he didn't do regular maintenance in Velsen Nord especially when transporting oversized goods. Luckily, they were okay, but the car driver certainly had to put aside work to learn this big lesson. So please comply with traffic safety. This driver definitely needs a cup of coffee to stay awake. After this incident, I think the driver will never fall asleep at the wheel again. Please assure me that you regularly maintain your beloved vehicle. You don't want this to happen, right? This is the pata, no? This is the owner. No, puede ser que explote. Claro, la gasolina atrás. Si es gas, si explota ahorita. Many things like sling capacity, wind, load weight, etc. were contributing factors and the proximate cause appeared to be a failure of the left sling, you know. Just go on. It Whatever. Get out of here. No, I'm not going to get out of here. No. I like how calm that girl was when trying to explain to the Karen woman even though she was being offended. Yes, it is. I don't That's care. Not. We don't want you here. Leave me That's alone. not true. No. Yeah. How rude. How rude. Get her to me. No, this, this, this is Hopefully, after this conversation, Karen women will be able to live equally and no longer be discriminated against. Yeah, a lot of residents and, and there shouldn't be people in this park. So this should be a vacant park? No, it's, it shouldn't be if you're not grasping on 55 and up. It's a retirement area. Well, I don't think the day will come when dash cams record such harassment. Hopefully, no one will have to listen to this woman complain again. A homeless man in Clearwater was arrested after allegedly assaulting and attempting to rob a gas station down the street. Being rude won't make people afraid of you. In the end, it'll only make you regret it. No, you have to go to jail! You have to your hands on fire! Please subscribe to the channel. Why did they have to be so aggressive in the first place? I think they should be as limited as possible in public places. Huh? Now let's go down here and turn oh, around. Your grandmother doesn't know where they are. It's okay. Even though the travel time is a bit long, they'll still reach their intended destination. I think for future trips, they yeah, they should invest in a GPS device to better understand the route. Okay. So we have to get on the expressway, go in the other direction. That's right. Hey, bud, you do that to me and I'll knock hey, you flat. You stay out of sight. Yeah, well, she should have listened from the start and not brought the stroller. But the flight attendant didn't need to be so aggressive. A simple statement of respect would have been a better solution. Oh, well, I'm not going to be f***ing around that. Tony. Yeah. Go with us before we're going. Come on. Help! <laughs> what do you need? I stole my f***ing headphones. 
the woman screamed and accused the other two of stealing her headphones. I'm glad there were no injuries other than a broken pair of headphones. In such a situation, you should ask the nearby police for help. This is the reason why you shouldn't drink alcohol. She was arrested by New York police immediately afterward. The woman panicked and accused the man sitting next to her of stealing her headphones. And finally, she was brought back to the gate. I thought maybe she was under a lot of pressure and just needed to rest to calm down. Not long after the car owner returned home from work, an incident with his car affected the house. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, but it's likely due to a fire from the engine and technical problems such as oil, fuel or coolant leaks from the engine that could create high temperatures that cause a fire. So, always check your car before driving and parking. He seemed confused as he controlled it. He needs to get more familiar with the car. At the company, an incident happened to him, but he was still optimistic and smiling. I hope that's on camera. <laughs> that reminds us that unexpected events always happen in life and how to accept every situation happily and optimistically. <laughs> the start of his new day is the welcome of the stairs. After going through this incident, you'll have to buy yourself a pair of anti-slip shoes. <laughs> worker tried to use a shovel to put the hat on, but the result mm, was not as expected. However, he was still happy and smiling to himself. Mira, mira, se calibró, mira. A driver drove an old steam truck carrying a crane uphill, and the incident also occurred. And there's no other way. They'll have to call another truck to replace it with greater capacity and especially its safety. Everyone's calmness helped him overcome his fear and ensure safety when driving. The incident occurred when the M6 truck driver fell asleep on the road. That affected a series of cars, causing traffic jams, but fortunately, no one was hurt. This luck sends a clear message about maintaining alertness while driving. Like a race against time in Queensland, the driver rushed to overtake the truck. This is a strong reminder to limit speed and obey traffic rules. Are you prepared for Christmas? At least prepare for the icy road. It's coming. We also have some t-shirts, so take a look if you see anything that might be suitable for your family member. The incident happened in New Zealand. You shouldn't use a heater to dry clothes. Remember to turn off the electrical appliances when leaving the house and when not in use. This will take him days to clean this wall. Hopefully after this, he'll have to think about the consequences before doing anything. I think you should make sure you can control the vehicle well before trying long distances. Yeah. yeah.
Maybe the truck driver needs a pair of glasses to be able to see the rescue workers. I think you should be very alert and focused when driving. At first glance, their plans may be great, but physics will always have the final say. Imagine how a driver will feel when he has a bad day. Either way, stay safe. Oh. I hope the insurance company will compensate them for their losses. Choosing a large location as well as ensuring labor safety. Yep, it was a huge fail, but at least we got to see an impressive car wash, as well as a reminder not to drink and drive. Here's why a dash cam is absolutely worth the money you spend. Luckily, no one was hurt. On the flight to Miami, the couple was asked to leave the plane. In the process, their cat escaped into the cabin. Hopefully after this incident, they'll learn a useful lesson. Just because she refused to wear a mask, this Karen woman was taken to the police station and fined for harassment and opposing regulations. At Walmart Lorena Company, I think it should be resolved peacefully and with mutual respect to avoid unnecessary conflicts. Oh. Being impatient only makes others think that you're worse. She just punched me in my goddamn face. You did that shit in my face. I think the store should also review their working attitude as well as ensure food hygiene and safety. Oh, shit. For you. I want my money. You're going to have to write to customer service. Why should I write to customer service? I don't have to write. Uh, when I book a flight, I expect to arrive before that flight. You should book a private plane to do that. Yeah, the entire plane to yourself. Finished. Right Did, I have to write to you? That's it. Did I have Excuse to write to you, you to pay for it? Off the airport, please. Thank you. Huh? Did I have to write to you to, to pay for it? Did I have to write to you to pay for it? Did I write to you to pay for it? Push no. to the limits. Uh, he was informed of the change of flight. I think you should learn to persevere and wait in line to get gas to become civilized people. The driver who robbed the parking lot received immediate karma. Well, I, uh, I guess he won't be so rude from now on. Oh no, I don't think this is how you add volume to your clothes. Laundromats will certainly have to add more security guards to prevent such situations. <laughs> Life has many surprises, so we need to be more careful and put safety first in all activities. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you again.